Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year. I hope that you all had a wonderfully indulgent holiday season like the rest of us did. Uh, I guess now it's time to uh, get things in gear with respect to New Year's resolutions, and one of the biggest resolutions, of course, is weight loss. It wasn't too terribly long ago that we were operating under the uh, model of calories in, calories out equals what we weighed. Over the past mm, 10 to 15 years or so, we've learned that weight loss is much more complicated than that. You can't just eat more fruits and vegetables and go to the gym more days out of the week and expect that weight will follow. For some people that does, but it's because they have a certain set of things that are in order that maybe other people don't. When I think about weight loss, I, I like to think about it in, in four different ways. Are you hormonally balanced? Are you adrenally supported? Is your gut healthy? And is your metabolism optimized? Those four things. In terms of hormonal balance, probably the biggest players are our thyroid function and our gonadal hormone levels. As we age, our thyroid is supposed to keep up with us and continue to make appropriate levels of thyroid hormone. Sometimes that's the case and sometimes it isn't. Just because of our, our DNA, some people never achieve great levels of thyroid hormone. And sometimes it's because of uh, nutritional factors that their thyroid just doesn't have the, the building blocks, so to speak, to make a sufficient amount of thyroid hormone to keep people's metabolism uh, in check. In terms of gonadal hormone levels, these are our estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, and in their levels that start to decline as we get older in both men and in women. In terms of our gonadal hormones, we're fairly balanced between the ages of 18 to 24, but beyond that, we see rather predictable declines in levels of our gonadal hormones. And these will definitely have a negative effect on our metabolism if they are not corrected and balanced. In terms of the second um, most important thing, adrenal support, I like to joke with people that adrenal dysfunction is the 21st century American disease stage because who amongst us is not stressed or strained either um, physiologically or psychologically. Our hypothalamus pituitary axis is a very primitive part of the brain and it doesn't really treat stress at work different than it treats um, being chased by a bear in the forest. Um, it just causes cortisol to be secreted which is okay, but if cortisol is abnormally high or abnormally low, then we are more likely to be in fat storage mode. The way we like to support adrenals, aside from um, lifestyle optimization, stress reduction techniques, um, meditation, um, yoga, um, are with herbs called adaptogens, and most recently, hemp oil or cannabidiol, which is a beautiful adrenal support, which uh, provides a very organic way of upregulating the endocannabinoid system, which helps to balance not just our adrenals, but our endocrine system, our neurologic system, and our immune system. The third most important thing in terms of weight loss is the health of our gut. We are learning so much now about the importance of the gut microbiome. So these are the um, bacteria and um, fungi that live inside our gut. Um, we can't see them, so uh, I think it's, it makes sense that we haven't really paid much attention to them over the past um, X number of years. But, but more recently, we're learning that the diversity of the gut microbiome determines everything from our energy level to our, our, uh, our mood, our propensity for anxiety, um, uh, our likelihood of determining uh, insulin resistance, autoimmunity, uh, cardiovascular disease, cancer, and, and weight gain. Being on a broad spectrum, appropriate amount of probiotic and prebiotic is critical to optimizing our metabolism. And then staying away from medications that, that we know will cause gut inflammation or, or leaky gut. 
Um, and for the most part, these are um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications like Advil, Aleve, um, uh, corticosteroids or, or prednisone, um, uh, proton pump inhibitors, uh, Protonix, uh, Prilosec, um, antibiotics, and, and lastly, the birth control pill. There aren't a whole lot of great non-hormonal options for women in terms of preventing pregnancy, but, but they do exist. And so we definitely recommend that women use some sort of non-hormonal birth control for a whole bunch of reasons, but certainly with respect to optimizing the health of our gut. Lastly, of the four, is um, the is your metabolism and is that optimized? Um, are we burning uh, uh, carbohydrates or are we burning fat? What is the status of our growth hormone levels? We're learning a lot about how growth hormone affects um, not just our um, our bone density, um, our cardiovascular system, um, the collagen production underneath our skin but how it uh, plays a role in mobilizing fat, increasing our metabolism, our energy level, improving our slow wave sleep um, so that we have more energy during the day, um, being on the right kind of diet in terms of what are the micronutrients and macronutrients that we're consuming on a daily basis helps to determine are we in fat storage or fat burning mode. The diet that we offer here at Lindgren Functional Medicine is a ketogenic diet. Um, it's a full or partial meal replacement diet that's higher in protein, lower in carbohydrates, which promotes fat burning. So when people are in weight loss mode, they're not just losing um, lean tissue and fatty tissue, we're specifically targeting fat loss. We can help to optimize our metabolism by uh, using different peptides, which I'll talk about in another video, which again help to increase our own production of different growth hormone isolates. And we can use different um, supplements and peptides to help damp down appetite, something called HCG, um, and something else called um, tesafenzine, which is um, a newer medication that we're using here in the clinic to help uh, decrease people's appetite, but also to improve their energy levels, um, their metabolism, um, and their mood. A few more videos to come um, about uh, weight loss and the complexities that are involved with that. Uh, so I encourage you to stay tuned to our website and my Facebook page. If you are interested in losing weight, please contact us here at Lindgren Functional Medicine. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.